Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy with Sickle Bros, partnering with BRS Fresh today to talk about one of our favorite lighting options, the AI Primes and the AI Blades. And we're gonna give some pros and cons of going with these lighting options in comparison to some of your cheaper lighting options, maybe your cheaper LEDs or your DIY hardware store lights. So it's a really interesting topic today. Let's dive right in. So first off, we absolutely love the aqua illumination lighting options. First off, we have the AI Prime 16s on my 150 gallon tank here. That's been up and running for about two and a half years. They look absolutely beautiful on this tank. And then on my 135 African Cichlid tank, I have two AI freshwater blades that are on a mounting system. And then I have a small AI blade on my saltwater tank here, the Hello Reef Aquarium Kit. And then my brother Quinn has two AI blades in his classroom and those tanks look incredible especially that yellow jacket cichlid, it really shines nicely under that AI blade. But these lights are definitely more expensive than some of those cheaper LED lights or your DIY hardware store lights. So just some quick reasons why you might go the cheaper route when it comes to your lighting. First off, everyone has budget constraints and if you're spending money on a lot of other equipment, that might limit what you can spend on lighting. But I do see a ton of people spending a lot of money on equipment from big filters to UV sterilizers to wave makers and a lot of times lighting is neglected. And maybe you just like the DIY nature and process of things and if that's the case, absolutely go for it. Another big reason is if you have a ton of aquariums, maybe a big fish room, a breeding facility that you're trying to make money from, a lot of times those types of tanks won't have the really nice lighting that makes the tank look great. So those are just a few reasons why you might go the cheaper route. Now let's talk about why you might wanna go with some of the nicer lights out there, the top tier lighting in my opinion, the aqua illumination lights. So first of all, lighting is one of the most overlooked aspects of an aquarium setup, and it literally impacts everything you see in your aquarium, so it's super important. Some of those cheaper lighting options out there just don't show off the fish color or the vibrant greens from your live plants. Both the AI Blades and the AI Primes can give that natural shimmer effect in your tank. This is one of my favorite parts of these lights, especially in my 150 gallon tank here with the AI Primes. There's an awesome shimmer that goes throughout the tank and I get asked about it all the time. It definitely sets this tank apart. Also, aqua illumination lights are super powerful and can grow even the most difficult plants out there. My lights here are turned down really low and still light up the whole tank and provide plenty of lights for my plants and in my saltwater tank for my anemone. But one of those most overlooked aspects of aquarium lighting is just the overall aesthetics to your aquarium. It really can set off the overall look of your tank. Most of the cheaper LED lights will lie flat on tank lids, like in my 180 gallon tank here, but I never really get asked what light I'm using on that tank. But for my 150 and my 135, I will always get questions about the lights no matter how many times I show these tanks in video. And the actual mounting options can add a really cool dynamic to your tank. There are many different types of lighting mounts for aqua illumination, like in my 135 I had the basic mounting until I upgraded to the hanging mount. So just having those lights above your tank, whether they're hanging or just coming across over the top, it really adds to the overall aesthetic of your tank, which sometimes gets overlooked. But if you go with one of those cheaper lights or the DIY hardware store light, you will likely try to hide it from sight completely because it just may not look great. There may be some exceptions here if you're really good at DIY, but even then, there's not much that can beat the blade or the prime's overall look. And then a huge pro of some of your top tier lighting options is just being completely programmable and having the app at your fingertips. For all of the AI lights, you have this app right here where you can change all the settings to whatever you need. On my 135 African Cichlid tank, I had the AI blades turned down really low at only about 15%, which again, just shows how powerful these lights are. If they were all the way up to 100%, it would be super bright but I do like the dimmer lighting for African cichlids, and that also creates more of the shimmer in this tank. Since I do have three tanks with aqua illumination lights, you can see that I have control of all of these through the same app in the same location. I don't have to worry about 10 different remote controls to all my lights on all my tanks scattered all throughout my basement. It's all in one spot on the app. I also like the ramp up and down effect. It's really nice to be able to simulate the sunrise and sunset and not to spook your fish when the lights come on at full blast. And hardware store lighting definitely won't have this level of control at your fingertips. 
Another thing to keep in mind is longevity. And sometimes this just comes with the territory when you invest in something that's a little more expensive, the quality is better and it'll last you longer. Whereas some of the cheaper LED lights, they might burn out or bulbs will go out and you just have to replace them anyway. And you might end up spending more money doing that than just having that upfront investment with a quality light right away. And in the past, I've had many cheaper LED lights and some of them have gone out after a year or so of use and I just had to replace them anyway. But overall, your aquarium lighting impacts so much about how you view your tank and just the overall look of your aquarium setup. It is definitely an investment for one or more of these lights, but I do see hobbyists spending so much money on other equipment that it always seemed odd that lighting was one of the things that got neglected sometimes. Many times, saltwater hobbyists are super into their lighting options, likely due to the corals and the fish that they have but the freshwater side has seemed to be catching up in this department with some of those nicer lighting options. And maybe right now you have those cheaper lights or you did a DIY lighting system, and that is totally okay. But if you are like us, you are continuously looking to improve your aquarium setups, and lighting is one area I think you could definitely look into. And just as an example, when you look at this 150 gallon tank with the AI Prime 16s, it was definitely hard to choose to invest so much in lighting, but once you look at this tank, you can just see it's worth every penny. So that's just a quick overview of the Aqua Illumination lights, the AI Primes, and the AI Blades. Some of the lights that we've enjoyed for many years on our own aquariums. I hope you enjoyed seeing the pros and cons of going that route versus one of your cheaper routes with cheaper LED lights or your hardware store lights. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.